Welcome to part three of our greenhouse uh, video series showing us getting up our new greenhouse. Um, this one today we're just going to talk about what we're doing with our soil um, to get ready for spring and planting season. Alright, so we've already uh, talked about our green, new greenhouse we just put up quite a little, uh, quite a bit. We talked about putting in our ground stakes and, and getting the structure up and the covering on. Um, I'm just going to show you here real quick what we've done uh, over the last day or two. Um, yesterday we ordered in about 15 yards of composted horse manure and we uh, took off part of the covering down there. We just, you know, took out the wiggle wire and uh, with wheelbarrows and five gallon buckets a few of us uh, basically put probably 10 to 12 yards of uh, horse manure in this greenhouse. And uh, it was good composted stuff for the most part. And I'll, I'll talk a little bit about manure later on. But um, essentially we brought it all in, we shoveled it all out, and uh, we just went through this morning with the rototiller and, and dug it in. So there's a little concern because we had to break through um, the turf. So this was uh, basically kind of virgin out here. It hadn't been broke up before. So we had to break it up with a rototiller. And it all broke up just fine. We watered it a bit last night. So um, yeah, I just want to show you uh, the difference, you know, from what we had to essentially what we have now. Um, some really good stuff. And I went through and I textured a lot of this this morning. It's pretty good um, sandy uh, clay loam which I really like. It's got all the best aspects of uh, all those different soil types to it. So as I mentioned before, this greenhouse is really for us to uh, grow in until we can afford to put more hydroponic equipment in. Well, that, you know, money-wise and time-wise, putting in a hydro system is a bit more work than just basically um, prepping some soil and getting things planted. So um, until that happens, we're just going to be doing some dirt farming in here. Uh, we're going to get all fashioned on it. So uh, we'll probably depart from our uh, typical themes, our typical video uh, themes by uh, talking a little bit more about dirt farming um, in this high tunnel uh, with, this, with this video. So um, I just wanted to show you kind of what this is looking like. It was pretty rough fill soil before. Now you can see we've got a lot of really good um, organic matter that came from our horse manure. And um, you can still see a lot of that you know, original soil in there, uh, kind of, uh, if you, if I were to texture it out here, um, you know, you see, kind of get to see the, the soil texture. It's, uh, there's a little clay in it, but uh, lots of sand, and uh, it's also, it's pretty loamy stuff too, so um, it's going to be really good. The nice thing about going through with rototiller and rototilling everything up is you get really good um, loose soil. So, you know, you can basically just take your hands and just about anywhere in here um, pull up, uh, you know, some pretty good soil. And uh, it will stay nice and loose like this. It's going to settle down um, as we start to water it and as we plant to it and as we uh, mulch it. Um, all this will kind of uh, settle. And uh, especially, you know, once kind of the, the worms wake up and everything gets going in here, uh, a lot of this organic matter will get consumed. Uh, but uh, this is really good looking stuff. It's going to crank for us. I'm super excited about getting some plants in the ground. So please subscribe to our channel if you haven't already and stay tuned for more videos on getting these high tunnels uh, up and going and uh, market gardening. Alright, so this is our greenhouse here. We just came in through the front door and this is kind of looking east um, down the rows and columns of uh, towers here. So come on in and I'll explain how everything works. So now we're at the far end of the greenhouse and you can see uh, some of the new towers that have just gone in uh, this last week and uh, some of the stuff 